See, I started off as a very young person, you know, at the age of 20, I started my entrepreneurial journey. And from the time I started to today, it's, uh, it's grown quite a lot from zero base virtually to uh, this year, hopefully, a 10,000 crore company with a market cap of almost like 65,000 crores. So I think it's, it's worked out well. I've learned a lot. I have made a lot of mistakes. And as the business has grown, I have uh, shifted my role. Uh, when we were very small, I was doing things on my own. Uh, I used to have point distributors, interact with ad agencies, things like that. And as the business grew, I started recruiting talent. So my role shifted from from doing things to getting things done. The formation of Marico gave me an opportunity to play a larger role. And um, I think at that time, that to me, that was a big turning point because I had all the freedom to do whatever I wanted to do. And uh, if I look back at my own journey, <clears throat> I think I made the right choices in terms of the portfolio of products we should operate in, where we had the right to win. And if you look at uh, our portfolio of all the brands we have, mm-hmm. we are market leaders in more, most of the category, or all the products we are, we are present in. So it was very important to, to be a market leader because if you are a market leader, then it gives you economies of scale. It gives mm-hmm. you the pricing power, you're dominant, so you're able to protect your profits. So I think one is to look at change from opportunistic point of view. There are two aspects to change. Any change could impact you negatively from a threat perception. It could provide you some newer opportunity. Uh, and I think if all entrepreneurs look at how do you create opportunities out of this change, I think that will help them. To sum up, you have to, what are the opportunities arising out of change? Can you thrive on this change rather than getting bogged down about the threat part of the change? Of course, you don't manage your business well, then it could be threatening also. Organizations have to innovate. And many a times, you may have the best of innovation, you may think it may succeed, but unless you try it out in the marketplace, you will not know whether it's working or not. And if you are having a fear of failure, then what will happen is you will stop taking this. You will always think of doing more market research or or be scared and not launch a product. So at some stage, the only way to test out your innovations is is in the marketplace. And it's okay to fail because if you don't fail, you will not succeed. And if I look back at my own journey, Whenever I have failed, I have, there has been some learning which I use it for subsequent kind of initiatives. So I think that's the key thing which uh, comes to me that you know, the organizations, individuals should not have the fear of failure because if you have the fear of failure, you will not take risk and you will not experiment.